Yes, so today we'll start with sentence improvement. How to improve a sentence? Like there are many mistakes we do in our regular life or there are many grammat grammatical mistakes we generally do. So I'll be giving you four options and, and I'll be telling you why that one option is correct and why the rest three options aren't correct. So the first question starts like this. They continued to work in the field despite of the heavy rains. So I am um, like I have underlined a particular part of the sentence and you are supposed to tell me the error in that or you are supposed to tell the you are supposed to improve that particular part which is being underlined. So the options are in spite the heavy rains. Second option is although heavy rains. Third option is even though it rained heavily. Even though it rained heavily. And the last option is no change required. Yes, one thing to note that despite is never followed by of and in spite is always followed by of. I repeat, despite is never followed by of, of while in spite is or, or despite is never followed by of and in spite is always followed by of. So despite of is wrong. Now this cannot be the correct option as in spite is not followed by of here. Even though it rained heavily, उन्होंने वर्क किया फील के अंदर तो क्या हुआ हैवी रेन्स हो रहा था ऑल दो हैवी रेन्स डज नॉट मेक एनी सेंस ऑल दो इट रेन हैवीली होता इट कुड बी करेक्ट नो चेंज रिक्वायर्ड के नॉट बी ट्रू बिकॉज देयर इज अ चेंज रिक्वायर्ड डिस्पाइट इज फॉलोड बाय ऑफ यर विच इज रॉन्ग सो द लेफ्ट ऑप्शन इज इवन दो इट रेन हैवीली एंड दिस ऑप्शन इज द मोस्ट सुटेबल ऑप्शन दे कंटिन्यू टू वर्क इन द फील्ड इवन दो इट रेन हैवीली so i hope this one's clear to you next is despite his old age his movements were as spirited as a young man so you have to choose the error you have to improve the underline part and the underline part is a young man the options available are a young man if a young man the those of a young man the next is no change required Despite his old age, his movements were as spirited as a young man. So whenever you are comparing movements to that of to that of the movements of a young man, so you have to limit the comparison, the comparison of movements of him with the comparison of the with that of a young man. Now first cannot be correct because in this we have used e more than one, me and denotes more than one person. If a young man as a condition does not jive. No change required is wrong. We are comparing the movements, so we have to write those of a young man. The comparison should be limited. The comparison should be limited to the things we are comparing. So despite his old age, his movements were as spirited as those of a young man. I hope this question is clear. Yes. Our next question is, so this way we are going to improve the sentences. Our next question is, Taxes are high in the country. Taxes are high in the country. Aren't they? You have to improve this particular part. Aren't they? And the options available are are not taxes. Next option is don't they the next option is do they next one is no change required 
Now, as you can see, this question is of question tag. Now, at the end of the sentence, sexes are high in the country. There's a question tag, aren't they? So, generally, whenever we are using a question tag, we take help of the helping verb which is mentioned in the sentence. Like we have mentioned are here. So, we will be using the negative of are in question tag, aren't they? So, this sentence is correct. There is no change required. Don't they? Cannot be possible for that. It should be taxes do. There should be helping verb do here. Aren't taxes is also fine, but the reference will be given to aren't they. Because we use a pronoun after a helping verb in a question tag, do they is again grammatically wrong. Because for that, don't helping verb should be there in the sentence. So the correct sentence is no change required. The sentence is correct in itself. Now, Next sentence is, he will be greatly surprised, he will be greatly surprised if he was being elected. He will be greatly surprised if he was being elected and you have to improve this underlined part if he has been, if he was being elected. The options available are, if he will have elected. If he will have elected. The next option is if he is elected. The next option is unless he was elected. And the last option is no correction required. Now there's a condition, open condition. What happens in open condition is the format of open condition is if plus simple present followed by will. This is the format of open condition. And as you can see in the sentence, the sentence is of open condition. The sentence is of open condition. If he'll be greatly he'll be greatly surprised, will. Then if should be followed by simple present. So this is wrong as this is future tense. This is wrong as this is past tense. Correction is required. This is wrong. Then we are left with if he is elected and he is is simple present tense. So we have followed the condition. The condition is open condition. I repeat what happens in open condition is that if plus simple present followed by will and it can be like this also will followed by if plus simple present and that's what is given in above sentence. Yes, so the next sentence is his father disapproves his father disapproves because his getting up late. So you have to correct this underlined sentence, this underlined part. And the option available are disapproved. That he is getting up. Disapproved that he is getting up. The second option is disapproved by his getting up. Disapproved by his getting up. C is disapproves of his getting up. Of his getting up. And the last one is no correction required. Now, as you can see, the sentence is father disapproves because he's getting late. So, disapproves itself gives a reason ki wo kyun disapprove kar rahe cause wo late get up kar raha hai because he's getting up late. So, first of all, there is no need of this because disapproves itself is sufficient to continue the rest part of the sentence is getting up late. Disapproves itself gives a reason why he is not happy. So there is no need of this because. So no correction required. Wrong. Because there is a correction required. Then disapproved that he is getting up. Again, when there is past here, disapproved, there cannot be present here. 
either both should be in past disapproved by is getting disapproved is not followed by by disapproved is followed by of so this this is fixed preposition disapproves of his getting late his father disapproves of his getting up late is the correct option and disapproves here is um fixed preposition disapproves is followed by of i hope this sentence is clear the next sentence is he persevered and succeed and succeed despite a lot of obstacles and you have to correct this part he perceived persevered sorry and um, succeed despite a lot of obstacles and the first option is persevered and succeeded the second option is even he went out the second option is perseveres and succeed the next option is persevered and succeeded in and the last option is no change required now as you can see in this sentence there are two verbs persevered and succeed there are two verbs persevered and succeed and one verb is in second form second form of verb persevered while the first second one is v1 so what we are supposed to do is we have to use both the verbs in same form v2 so the correct answer is he persevered and succeeded no change required is wrong because there is a change required and we cannot do both in present so this is wrong we are adding in here this is wrong so the correct option is persevered and succeeded despite a lot of obstacles the next sentence is you will get the reward you will get the reward if you will have been deserved it if you will have been deserved it and you have to improve the underlined part that is will have been deserved it the options available are option a deserve it option b are deserve it option c have deserved it and the last option is no change required now you will get the reward if you will have been deserved it as i mentioned in one of the sentences above that there is this open condition what happens in open condition we have if plus simple present followed by will so again we have will we have if so the clause in which we have if will take simple present tense and will have been is not simple present and in the second clause we have already will will if simple present should be the correct answer and this is the sentence of open condition so we can see here there is only one correct option deserve it this is v1 so this will be the suitable answer no change required is wrong because in one sentence we cannot use two will one will second will no change required is wrong are deserved it wrong is deserved it can be correct have deserved it past present perfect so the correct option is deserved it deserve it because this is simple present and this is open condition yes next question it was a stormy night it was a stormy night despite he went out and you have to make the corrections in this part in this underlined part despite he went out the options available are although he go out although he go out the second option is even he went out the third option is yet he went out and the last option is
no change required. Fine. It was a stormy night despite he went out. So this sentence is incorrect. Incorrect because there's a condition given. Stormy night he still woke gaya. So for that still we have yet here. It was a stormy night, yet he went out. There's a correction required, so no change required is wrong. Even he went out, so there should be something else with that. This is wrong. Although he go out, wrong, yet he went out is the correct answer. It was a stormy night, yet he went out. The next question is, despite all my constraints, despite all my constraints and shortcomings I would be be definitely helped him and you have to improve I would be definitely the options available are the first option is will definitely help him. The second option is should definitely helping. Should definitely helping. The next option is could be definite help. Could be definite help. And the last option is no change required. Now Despite all my constraints and shortcomings, I would be definitely help them is grammatically incorrect. Would be definitely helping him, hota, it should be correct. Would definitely help him, again you may consider that would be definitely help them is grammatically incorrect. So the fourth option cancels out here, only no change required because there is a change required. Could be definitely definite help him. It's again grammatically wrong. Should definitely help. Should be definitely helping. Hota. It could have been correct. Again wrong. So we are left with only one option. Will definitely help him is the correct answer. Despite all my constraints and shortcomings. I would. I will definitely help him. And the next question is. He reported that. He reported that. He had finished his work. He reported that he had finished his work and you have to correct the underlying part. He reported that he had finished his work and the options available are option number A had been finished. The next option is was finished. The third option is has finished and the last option is no correction required. Now if you look at the sentence, we reported that he had finished his work. And if we look at the perspective of reported speech, after that, had can come. If the sentence would be like this, he said, comma, inverted comma, I finished the work. So this sentence will be converted like this only, he reported that he had finished the term, his work, because simple past changes into past perfect when it is direct to indirect speech conversion. So this sentence is grammatically correct and the correct option is no correction required. So I hope you get to learn lots many things with these questions. I hope these questions must be helping you some or the other way in grammatical rules or in your, NTA, in, in your studies. Thank you. That's it for the day.